Hello and welcome to my Let's Play of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on the Super Nintendo. Uh, I actually uh, don't have a lot of experience with this game, but it is a fun little, fairly easy little beat-em-up platformer hybrid, and I really like it, and it's based on a awful TV show I liked as a kid. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a nostalgia rush there. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, I figure... Uh, while I'm doing this Let's Play, I'm going to talk a bit about the game, a little bit about the show. Eh, just try to fill up airtime, I guess. Anyway, yeah, first level we're gonna choose Zack, the Black Ranger. There's really no uh, rhyme or reason to who I'm playing as in this game, but uh, there is one boss later on that I'll point out that I think is a little easier with other characters, so... Okay, so, basically this first level you're just going down the streets, beating the shit out of these random... I think they were called putties. Uh, but anyway, yeah. This game is... The fighting engine in this, if you can even call it that, is bare bones, simple, basic. Those guys were in Power Rangers... Uh, sorry, uh, Ninja Turtles disguises. <laughs> I love throwing the enemies. <laughs> so satisfying and beat-em-ups. Anyway, um... Yeah, the... Fighting engine is pretty simple. You have uh, a jump button, which is B, which I just pressed there, an attack button, which is Y. You can crouch to do ducking attacks. If you're in the air, you can do a uh, an aerial attack. Oh, uh, sorry, a either a jump kick or another like that jump punch there, which is actually better at hitting enemies that are in the air. Now, later levels in the game are actually a lot more interesting than this. This is just kind of getting you used to uh, the uh, fighting in the game. It's Later levels introduce platforming elements, uh, pitfalls, swimming. But for now, we're just doing uh, really a very basic and simple beat-em-up. Single-player 2D beat-em-up. And there's your boss. You don't fight him yet. You just, uh, turn into the Power Ranger. <laughs> and the Power Ranger's theme plays, and it's awesome, and... <laughs> you beat up those, uh, putties with an axe. Your throat loses a little range, which is unfortunate, but... Whatever, and when you're a Power Ranger, you're just a decimation machine here. So, okay, moving on to the next part of the level. And the Power Rangers theme is done playing. I'm going to try to get this guy close to this uh, lamppost here. Damn it. Threw him wrong. Uh, anyway, yeah, if you throw the enemies into those lampposts, you blow them up. Which is fun. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Uh, it's just stuff like that. Oh, okay, I'm going to try it here. Come on. There you go. <laughs> That's fun. They're just uh, cool little things in this game that I have really just appreciate. Okay, I'm going to try to throw this guy into that bench. <laughs> that is just fun. Anyway, those birds drop bombs, which can hurt you or, or your enemies. Which is uh, actually sort of counterproductive as a part of Rita Repulse's plan, I suppose. But did she ever really have a plan, or was it, was it just uh, send Stupid Monster of the Week to fight the Power Rangers? Uh, trying to pick up that bench. There you go. Look at me trying to say that the plot to the Power Rangers uh, TV show is stupid. I mean, we all know it was stupid. <laughs> I mean, those of us who grew up watching it, I think even when we watched it as kids, we were aware how dumb it was. I mean, because I think it was the first thing I ever watched, uh, like, ironically. Like, I knew this was bad, and I just thought it was funny because of how cheesy and stupid it was. Okay. Those guys are terrible drivers. Now, just for no reason, I'm just going to destroy this truck because I can. And it's just fun. <laughs> Health up. Yeah, some of the uh, putties are single hit kills. Other ones you actually have to fight. Some of them later on uh, have special abilities, like some of them have projectile attacks. 
destroy this car. I know, it's wasting time, but it's just fun. I don't know why. Blowing up barrels. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, this game does sort of make you feel like a superhero. Like you're just this badass, just... Just a random enemy butchering machine. With dinosaur power. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hate having to explain the Power Rangers to someone who's younger than me. Because <laughs> it's like, they know I'm stupid. <laughs> they know that it's stupid. I feel stupid explaining why I liked it, but... Whatever. Anyway, yeah, the boss fights here. Um, I'm actually not going to put too much effort into fighting this guy, because he's really easy. Now, the only problem I have with this game is that the boss fights are very, very tedious. Uh, they take a long time. They're easy, but they take time. Yeah. Especially the second level boss, which I'm going to show you in the second part of this. I hate that guy. That guy can go screw himself. You just kind of have to not let this guy get an attack in edgewise. But really, he's one of the easiest bosses uh, in the game, so... Well, he is the easiest, and that kind of makes sense. He's the first one. Here's his third form, Floating Head. And that was really hard. So yeah, uh, the passcode for the next level is 3847. Uh, stay tuned for part two of this... Uh, playthrough of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers.